Oh, this is amazing. This is so amazing. Everything about this is amazing. What are you talking about? A virus got on the server and sent all of us an email with everyone's search histories. Check this out. Sergeant Jeffords searched the internet for undiscovered muscle. I was working out and saw a muscle in my shoulder I'd never seen before. I thought it might have been a scientific discovery. Listen to this. Scully searched for how much fudge is in a calorie. I never found the answer, but it's a good question. Boyle looked up how to make desk yogurt. Yes, I did, and I am thrilled with the results, although the jar is really hot. That's gross. And Amy searched for Daniel Craig hands plus close up. Oh. You should talk. You searched for cheapest date possible. And I wear that search like a badge of honor. So, ready for dinner? Here we go. <sighs> Would you like something sweet or maybe savory? Apple pie, and I'm stuck. I'm stuck! <laughs> I'm so glad we could finally do this. I know, Kylie says you're always stuck at the precinct. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of, this is work, sorry. What's up, Peralta? Captain called, he needs everybody back. There's a lead on the Nightingale Strangler. We're looking for a white male, 5'10", medium build, brown hair, small scar on his right cheek. Okay. His M.O. is he finds lonely women with no friends, poisons their food, and then guts them in his van. It's pretty gnarly. Last seen wearing a salmon shirt, gray blazer, and witnesses have said he has trouble fitting lettuce in his mouth. Okay, where are you? Apparently has the world's smallest penis and doesn't know how to use it. Hi there, I'm Jake Peralta, Amy's boss. Uh, that's not true. What are you doing here? I am here on a date. Who is now leaving? Worth it. Have a great night. Your boss seems really nice. He's not my boss. Yes, I am. Hey there, Sarge. Not to pry, but I couldn't help it over here. Are you going to the doctor? Everything OK? I'm getting a vasectomy. My ears are burning. Did someone say vasectomy? I got snipped. No big deal. Just numbs you out from trunk to skunk for a year. It's not supposed to. Trunk to skunk? Hold it up. You're going to let some quack doctor just knife around down there? You were blessed with a great power. And you should never snip its wings. You should let it soar. Thanks, guys. That's enough. I don't need any more input. Neither does your wife, I guess. Look, you guys, if the sergeant wants to chop off his penis, that is his choice. That's not what a vasectomy is. If you guys don't get back to work, I'm going to start firing detectives. And blanks. Sorry. I just never think of jokes. Anybody else? This is your last chance. Oh, God, no need to be so testy. Guess you won't be manning the tip line. Sergeant, is this going to go on your permanent record? <laughs> now playing Scrotal Recall. Morning. Who were those for? Captain Holt's uncle passed away. They weren't close, but I wanted to do something. Interesting. Flowers are a bold choice, Santiago. But I can still beat you. Beat me at expressing condolences. Yep, it's on. Flowers are a gift, and Captain Holt hates gifts. I think a thoughtful email is the way to go here. Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Group sentiment, very meaningful. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Selfless act. Very respectful. Correct. I am the king of respectfulness, bitches. Hey, did you send that from your personal or work account? Personal. It's a personal matter involving a personal friend and his personal uncle. So you remembered to turn off your signature, right? I don't know. Hey, Captain, I just sent you an email. Dear I... Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Sent from my stinky butt. I was hacked? Thank you for the email. It means a lot to me. <sighs> You're very welcome. I was addressing your stinky butt. So that's 20 cargo ships in the last three months. Whoever's behind this smuggling ring knows their way around the docks, so we're going undercover as longshoremen. I will be Von Tom Tucker. A gruff, spitting, punch-you-in-the-gut sailor man who's taking a little break on dry land, but just until my girlfriend, Kangela, gets out of lady jail. <sighs> did you just spit in my trash can? No, Vaughn did. There's some tobacco in there, too. Vaughn chews it, but it makes Jake super dizzy. <gasps> and I'm Twink Tucker. You cannot choose your own name anymore. I got a job at the docks to support my drug habit, but I kept it because I love the seagulls. What, are you Irish now? No. Well, we better get going, Captain. Don't want to be late for our shift down to the docks. Good news. The leader of the cargo smuggling ring turned himself in at the 8-3. The mafia was closing in on him. Oh. Oh, that's great. It's good news. Yeah. Case closed. I guess we'll just 
Return these outfits. Great. Take this back. You have 10 minutes. Coffee. Extra black, extra no sugar, and real warm. It gets cold on them ducks. I want to earn gray tea for me. Twink Tucker. Nope, you ruined it. Ant. 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 God, they're everywhere. Are we sure that we've cleaned up all the food and crumbs? Why is everyone looking at us? We're the ones who eat up all the crumbs. Yeah, we're the solution. Well, there are no ants on my desk because I sanitize it daily. What do you call that? Ah, those are your ants. They're using a monitor cable as a land bridge. Now they're destroying our technology. This is an invasion. They're in my yogurt. Now it's personal. All right, that's it. We have got to fight back. This is our planet. Just use Boyle's cologne. It's repulsive to everything. Oh, not cool. You're going to Penn Station to buy me a new one. The ant infestation? It's bad. They bite now, sir. I think they're just trying to avoid the cold weather. We should freeze them out. The plan is working, Captain. Yes, we won. Oh, my god. They're in the coats. They're in our coats. <laughs> oh my god. All right, here's where we stand. This nightclub is the home base for the Merrick Crime Syndicate. I've been tracking the club owner, Vladimir Drojic, AKA the Dragon, AKA my first perp with a cool nickname. What about El Baboso, the dagger? Yeah, it turns out Rosa was lying about that. El Baboso actually means the slug. <laughs> Tonto. That means dum dum. It was very cruel. I referred to myself as El Baboso to several beautiful Latina ladies. Oh, that's your type, isn't it, Jakey? Like Sophia and Sa. <laughs> Anyway, the dragon is involved in several counts of human trafficking, as well as... I'm sorry, what's going on? Who are you? Drexel with the Organized Crime Unit. I'm here for the Merrick case materials. Oh, are you? Well, we'll see what my captain has to say about this. Thank you for taking the materials. Make sure you also pick up the files that are on Peralta's desk. Wow, that is not how I saw it playing out. Sir, I thought you said this was my case. I gave you two weeks. I'm done fending off the Organized Crime Unit. Squad. Since Peralta's briefing was cut short, you can all use this time to clean up your desks. Look at this place, half-eaten food, crumpled tissues, pictures of your families. What's wrong with pictures? If you love someone, you'll remember what they look like. What is this? Rubber band ball? Keep your bands in a box or a bag. Since you all apparently have time to play throw, I'm canceling overtime for the month, effective immediately. Get to work and deball these bands. Jake, you gotta see this. There's something going on here. Something a little hairy. Nope. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Really? Oh, maybe I should frame the question differently. Terry, do you notice anything? <sighs> Amy. New shirt? Oh, come on, guys. I grew goatee, and it looks amazing, and I know you can see it. Of course we can see it, Charles. It's horrible. It looks like you unclogged a shower drain with your mouth. Yeah, you look exactly like the guy in the Don't Talk to Strangers poster. <sighs> no, I don't. Are you talking about your new goatee? Mm hmm I think it's a good choice of your face. Ah. Come over here so I can take a better look. Thank you, Captain. I knew you'd appreciate Bianca. That's right, I call her Bianca because she's dark and thick like my first cousin, Bianca. Jeffers Peralta, now. Whoa! Say goodbye to Bianca Boyle. Bianca! Morning, everyone. Morning, sir. Hey, look. We're food stain buds. Who are you wearing? Porridge? Um. Oatmeal. Hmm. Oh my god. He didn't even wipe it off. He's totally given up on life. It's loneliness. Ever since Kevin left for a sabbatical in Paris. He hasn't been the same. I tried to get him out of the house. I invited him to bar trivia, but he turned me down. Not that trivia Newton John needed the help or nationally ranked, it's no big deal. You're right, it's not. Well, aren't you all just a bunch of big hearted dum dums? You want to make him feel less lonely? Uh, this is how you do it. A case file? Yeah, dude loves work. I thought all your cases were closed. You were bragging about it so much last night, I couldn't hear the end of the neighbor's fight. It ended in sex. It always does. It didn't make me horny. It's a cold case from my first year as a detective. Is it active again? No, but hold on, I have to know that. So you're going to lie to him? No, I'm going to make him forget about his sadness through the power of distraction. He's gone. Hey, Gina, we got an anonymous gift basket. Yeah, it's full of treats. It's got meats, cheeses, candies, all the food groups. The cheese is amazing. It melts in my mouth and in my hands. Hmm, huh. French chocolates, French cheeses, tiny French pickles. Did none of you detectives think this might be a gift for Captain Holt from someone in France? 
Like his husband, for example. What? <laughs> no way. This is a nice present from an unknown appreciative citizen that wanted us to munch. Hmm, what's this then? Dear Captain Raymond Holt, thinking of you best, Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. He even used their pet names. Oh no. I ate the chocolate covered strawberry. That's the most intimate snack of them all. Holt's gonna be back from his meeting in 30 minutes. What do we do? Eat the note! No! No. It's okay. We can fix this. Check it out, sir. A lovely gift basket that Kevin sent you all the way from Paris. Straight from Paris! Stapler. Scissors. Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, someone had a good time in Paris. Oh, Kevin and I shared a perfect week together. I feel like I'm floating on a croissant. I wonder why people don't just break into song more often. I've been asking you for months if I could answer the phone like, who this? Give it a whirl, girl. He's rhyming, he's telling Gina to sing. Captain Holt is on a vacation high. He will say yes to anything right now. I would like a police horse, and I'd like Terry to be riding it almost constantly. I'd like an HR person to remind everyone about workplace boundaries. The Japanese make toilet seats which squirt a heated jet of water right up your- I'm gonna stop you right there, bud. What we need in here is an armored personnel carrier. A tank! Two tanks. I want a tank, too. Great, so everyone gets a tank. Just remember, we can't ruin Captain Holt's vacation high, so no one say anything that'll upset him. Oh, no, what are those morons doing in there? Well, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe they didn't upset him. What'd you do? What'd you say? Nothing. We just said, welcome back. <laughs> and laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, tank. Tank! I gained three pounds in Paris. Three pounds! Come on, Captain, pick up. Your friend Bob is secretly working for Jimmy the Butcher Figus. This is a call you're gonna wanna take. Bob must have done something to him. Or maybe they're talking about something super boring, like potatoes or beans. White rice, brown rice. Those are just some of the rices I love. Mm. Also basmati. Mm. Oh, that's all of them now. I should have known Agent Whelan was dirty. There were signs. He wore a v-neck once. Bob, you did nothing? It's my greatest regret. Well, at least he's still alive. When he comes out of the coma, we'll get him to talk. Do you mind getting us some food? I can't fathom eating these candies that Peralta bought us. Chocolate is the devil's carob. And carob is Satan's raisin. I'll go down to the cafeteria, see if I can't scare up some untoasted bread. Yum. Oh, Raymond. I forgot my wallet in my... Bob, you've killed him. And now I'm going to have to kill you. I've never been more shocked. Uh, hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. So, what's this secret meeting all about? You guys know I'm not medically cleared for another week. It's not a secret meeting, Jake. It's an intervention. The tips have to go. What? Why? Jake, we're worried about you, and you look very stupid. Come on, guys. I think they're kind of cool. Retro. No, they're terrible. Amy, come on. You're digging the tips, right? No, I feel like I'm kissing vanilla ice. There was a time you would have jumped at that chance. They have to go. <laughs> All right, you guys got me. I did it as a joke. I kept them ironically. Pretty funny, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna head out. Get out! No! Yeah! Get out! Yes, Terry! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, 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 wait, wait, okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'll admit it. I went too deep down there in Florida. At one point, I think, I forgot where the tip of me ended and the base of the tips began. Before we just chop them off, would anybody like to say some final words? No. That was one word that counts. Thank you, Rosa. Okay, I'm ready. Sorry I'm late, everyone, but trust me, it's worth it. Me and Jake are tip buds. What? No! no! You know what? I do see it. It's mm. bad. It looks bad. Papa, Papa, come in here. Hey. Papa's here. Papa, I'm so scared. There's a monster through my closet. Oh, buddy, shh. It's OK. I'm here. Monsters aren't real, my little pierogi. But I saw it. It was big and hairy. Oh, you just had a nightmare, buddy. No, it was real. I'm sure it felt that way. But I am going to open this closet, 
and I'm gonna show you that there's nothing in there. Don't do that, Papa. See, nothing. Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh, hey, Chuck, it's Pimento. Five, four, three, two, and step. And step. And knees around the world. Great form, Captain. Your calves are looking toy. Peralta, what are you doing at Razzmatazz? We needed to talk somewhere outside the precinct. Diaz, you're here too. Great. Yeah. Sir, we've discovered that Lieutenant Hawkins is dirty. Our squad isn't investigating the Golden Gang bank robbers. They are the robbers. Knees up in the back. Sorry, Brenda. If Hawkins is robbing banks, why well, she invite you onto a task force? And squat and hold and work those quads. We're working on a case that could have exposed her. This way she can keep tabs on us. Turn it. Yeah. Get down. God, why is this so hard for me? Do I even have quads? And twirl. Normally, I'd say we'd report this to Internal Affairs. And twirl back. But Hawkins is one of the most revered detectives in the NYPD. And hula hands. If you're going to go after her, you better have the proof to back it up. Well, then I guess that only leaves us one option. And now wag those tails. Find out everything we can about the squad and take her down from the inside. Keep wagging back there. I am wagging, Brenda. Just eating butter like a popsicle, huh, Boyle? Yeah, I know, I'm spoiling myself, but I'm depressed. Or have you forgotten that Jake, my best friend, is in prison? Wait, Jake's in prison? Yeah, he and Rosa were framed for a bunch of bank robberies by Lieutenant Hawkins. Oh, right. And where's Gina? On maternity leave. We were all at her baby shower last week. OK. And why am I bleeding? I don't know, Hitchcock. Oh, so you don't have all the answers. I'm bleeding because my piece of crap son-in-law bit me. Look, we all miss Jake and Rosa, which is why we have to keep working the case. There has to be some way to exonerate them. I've been looking, but I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. Title of your sex tape. What is happening right now? They caught Hawkins trying to flee the country. She confessed to everything, and they let me out. Oh, my God, Jake, is it really you? Are you really here? You know it, baby. But first, I got to hug my best friend. Yeah. What? Welcome back, Peralta. I just heard from the mayor. To apologize for what happened to you, they're sending you to Disney World. You and one male guest. As long as I don't have to go on any of the scary rides. I just go for the shows. <laughs> boil, 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 boil. Were you dreaming about Jake again? Why did you wake me up? I told you never to wake me up. This installation is composed of Constantine's accounts of the First Punic War. In the year 260... Ah, yes, the First Pubic War, the sexiest of all wars. Hi, Dr. Albrin Einstein. I have an urgent question for you about ancient Greece. Shall we walk? Of course, Dr. I feel like you said Einstein? Yes, that's correct. It's a family name. What is going on? Captain Olds, let me just follow my lead. Your theory is wrong. The Greeks did not climb out of the Trojan horse's butt. Put this on. A rose shearing head at work? People think I'm demented. Just put it on. Kevin, Dr. Einstein. Ah, Professor McGonagall. Why is Boyle dressed as me? Oh, shh. Get in. But this card is- Get in! Professor? Student? Hello, Kevin. It's me, Raymond Holt. We need to get you to safety. Your life is in danger. I am so sick of this city. I go into a coffee shop, and as soon as everybody sees that I'm a cop, they stop talking and they avoid eye contact with me. One lady even walked out. I am just so tired of being treated like the enemy. Hey, Hitchcock, your penis is hanging out. Oh, well, that's a relief. Can you believe this, Scully? Looks like we're the only responsible people who show up on time anymore. And they're always calling us lazy. But where are they now? I don't see them. There, not here. But you know who is? Hitchcock and Scully. The oafs. The bozos. The idiots! What are you doing here? The building's being fumigated. There were so many emails. There were? We didn't. Lightweight. That's your takeaway? Listen up, everyone. We had a murder this morning. The Vic was found at 845 by a dog walker who let herself into his apartment. Oh, my god, it's Franzia. This is the work of Johnny Franzia, my white whale. He's finally resurfaced. Not this again. Yes, this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills someone, he taunts me. Look, there's a deck of cards. You say that whenever there's cars at a crime scene. You know how many people own cars, Jake? Then explain this. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs, two paintings, two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis because I solve all my crimes.
That's a pretty up thing to say to me.